What's going on guys? It is your boy Jason coming to you guys another video today and this video will be pretty much my team playing some GBs. Alright, now I've got a couple comments um, in the past. Pretty much are people asking me, you know, hey, how do you, you know, improve your game as far as GBs go, you know, UMGs, um, game battles, Twitter tournaments, you name it, you know, pretty much competitive. How do you improve in the competitive aspect? Because if you don't know, pretty much competitive and public matches are so, so different on so many level guys, uh, levels, guys. Um, if you don't understand it, I can't really explain it to you. I mean, it, it's just it's a completely different feel. That's pretty much all I can tell you. That it's a entirely different feel. Um, now, one thing I need to say about playing competitive is pretty much the key to being successful, in my opinion at least, is knowing, understanding, and executing your role. Because everybody in a competitive team has a different job within the team. Okay, everybody has their own job. Everybody is meant to do a specific thing, okay? When you do that task or when you complete what you're supposed to and everybody's doing it, doing that, you operate like a well-oiled machine. You are a beast, all right? You are unstoppable. You are just great. Now, this game is not a great game for us. This is literally probably just a, you know, like a decent game. Um, we do end up winning this match, um, but... I'm gonna probably try. To, I'm gonna try to talk to you guys a little bit about the roles that our team has, um, the players that our team, you know, is able, but not able to do, but the roles that they have within our team. Now, myself, I am an OBJ player. Okay, um, pretty much what an OBJ player is um, means that it's my job to play the objective. Now, also keep in mind that this is from theater mode. So if you just saw, like, you know, that uh, Scythe or Reaper walk by me and he wasn't psychosis on your screen. I understand in game he was psychosis. It's just a glitch. I'm in theory mode. I apologize. All right, but like I said, my job is OBJ. My job is to deal with all the objectives. Okay, I'm hands on when it comes to the objective. So for example, right now my team is playing hardpoint in this video, and my job is to sit in the hill, pretty much and grab as much time as possible, kill all enemies that are you know threatening my hill whatsoever. Okay, this is my hill. This is literally. You know, I always say it's mine. You know, it's my hill. I'm defending it. My teammates are helping me secure it. It's all mine, though. You get what I'm saying? And, um, and it's it's that's how it is. It's my objective. All right. So my job is to secure. You know, in the hard point situation, is secure the hill, hold it as long as I can, don't die, win gunfights when you know there are people that are in the hill with me or whatever, and pretty much just stay alive in the hill as long as possible and get as many points as possible. Search and destroy, I'm the one grabbing the bomb. CTF, I'm most likely going to be the one pulling the flag. You know, stuff like that. You know, along those lines. And that was a dumb play. I just got stuck. I remember that. I got a little annoyed when that happened. Now, so that's pretty much my job, okay? Now, I'm an OBJ slash Slayer, so I can also drop numbers in the kill department if I need to. Um, you know, for, you know, God forbid that my team is having a bad day as far as killing goes. I can, you know, easily pick up the killing. Um, for my team, uh, but I, for the most part, don't have to due to the fact that my team can slay for the most part. Um, so I'm able to just chill around in the hill and just predict spawns and pre in my corners and win gunfights for the most part, um, unless you get melted like that. <laughs> but, you know, that's just my job. You know, as an OBJ, you want to be able to predict spawns. You want to be able to, uh, want, want to be able to pre aim your corners. Um, and win most gunfights. Um, that's pretty much your job as an OBJ is to sit in the hill or have the objective, know where the enemy is for the most part, whether it's from a call out or you're just predicting the spawn, pre aiming that corner and you know, winning gunfights, hopefully. Um, so that's pretty much your job as an OBJ. Now, next, besides an OBJ, is an anchor. Okay, we also have an anchor. Our, our team's anchor is guilty. Okay, if I press select, you'll see him. He's currently 7 out of 11. Um, he's not really getting much action. His job is to pretty much cover the entire map and get spawns for us. Okay, primarily his job is to get spawns. Alright, but he is an AR, obviously, so from time to time he will come and assist us over the hill. So, like, in this, in this hill specifically, he'll be shooting over us, you know, for the most part, or he'll be camping out by white truck, 
um, hail just pretty much be just engaging from a long distance, you know, over you know over our heads and over my head specifically since I'm in the hill. I'm pretty much just keeping bullets down right okay? But when it's a different type of uh, of hill, you know, where it's a hill that requires spawns, for example, grandmas, um, which will be after not after this hill, like it's gonna the hill's gonna rotate once and then on the next rotation. No, which grandma's is where I'm coming from right now. I just passed by grandma's. Back there, that is when an anchor is key. That is where it is really, you know, needed. Um, and you can even run a good anchor on this hill, but it's not really necessary. Um, grandma's is probably the biggest hill on this map when you need an anchor. Um, so that is where anchor comes in. Pretty much, it's his job to control spawns, make sure that we are able to own the spawns, and you know, make sure that we're spawning in the pr uh, appropriate places consistently. Um, giving us advantages in gunfights and hills and rotations, all that good stuff. Now, um, you know, he has a big role. Now, another role, and this is probably the role that most people are either familiar with or want to be, um, and that is a slayer. Okay, we have two slayers on our team. We have a sub slayer and we have a hybrid slayer. You can pull out an AR and slay, or you can pull out a sub and slay, okay? No, pretty much their jobs is to strictly get kills pretty much is to kill anybody in the area um, and just kill as many of them as he can to keep the enemy away from my hill um, or you know from my objective whatever it may be um, and the more guys that they kill let's say like they go out and they get a two piece before dying let's say they go out they get two kills and then they die you know now that means I only have two people to worry about um, and I'm not have to worry about the entire four, uh, team, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much their job. Their job is to just kill enemies, get them out of, uh, you know, like get the anchors out of the area. So if the anchor has the spawns for them, their jobs are to kill off the anchors. If they have the hill and a hard point, their jobs are to break the hill um, and basically allow me to get in there and secure it and hold it down. Or, you know, obviously that's all three of our jobs. You know, if you have, a, you know, two slayers and an uh, OBJ, we're all pretty much going to hell and we're just going to try to fuck them up. That was a dumb play on my part. Alright, so this game isn't going to be the best uh, slaying game for me, but I do run my job as far as an OBJ. I'm going to end this game with over 3 minutes in hell, which is great for an OBJ. I do end up getting like 20-something kills, um, but again, that's not bad for an OBJ, especially when you have over 3 minutes. Um, usually, I would drop around 28 to 30-something um, in a game with like 2 minutes plus in hell. Um, that's what I average, I would say. Um, but, you know, this game, I just was in hill. Our slayers were doing their job, so I didn't really get too many kills. Um, and everybody was doing their thing. So as far as, you know, like like I was pretty much trying to say in the beginning of the video, um, the whole, like, people ask me, how do you be successful in GBs? How do you do well in UMG and all that? My best advice that I can give you is pretty much know your role. Like I said, know your role. Don't try to change your role and just learn to try your best to prefer, perfect your role. Okay, if you can come as close to perfecting your role as possible, that is when your team will start to be successful. You don't need a team full of slayers. Okay, this isn't, you know, you don't, you're not going to need a team full of slayers to be successful. Alright, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, but when you have too many slayers filled up with egos and everything, that's when it's going to start going bad. Okay, um, you don't want that. You want know, people that know what they're doing, they know what their jobs are, and they're okay with their jobs, and they're pretty decent at their jobs. Okay, now I'm going 18 28. Again, not great in the killing department whatsoever. Okay, but you know, I have a team that has two slayers. I have a teammate that's dropping 37 kills. He's dropping 37 kills. I don't need to drop that many kills. All I need to do is sit in the hill, kill as many people as I can that come around it, and just chill and let him do all the work. That's his job. I'm doing mine. He's doing his. He's supporting me while I'm doing my job. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much how it goes. All right. Now, make sure you also are pre-aiming your corners. Make sure. That shit was so bullshit. I remember that I got shot through the wall. I was so pissed. But make sure you are pre-aiming your corners consistently. Okay. Expect enemies. Right here, dubs. I'm expecting somebody from dubs. Somebody's going to go watch Alley. Okay. We have people watching dubs. We have people watching Alley. One of our extra guys is going to push out dubs. He unfortunately, I think he's going to die. Yes, he did. And now I'm going to go back to dubs and I'm going to watch it again because somebody dropped. That's pretty much how we play. It's constant communication. Constant communication, you know, between one another. And, and that's another big thing is communication. So you need to be able to predict. Okay, predict enemy movement. Pre-aim your corners. Communication. 
you know, and just stick to your role, pretty much. It's just know what you know what you're supposed to do. Don't try to change it because you want to, you know, change your role. No, just stick to what you're good at. And I'm, 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 I'm telling you, that's the best advice I can give you. You know, back in AW, I wanted to, you know, switch, you know, to an, to a Slayer. Um, and I wasn't really a Slayer. Like I was running the OBJ role last year in AW. But I wasn't really happy with running the OBJ role because I felt like I could slay um, better than some people on my team. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but you know I was decent in the OBJ, and I'm better in my opinion. I feel like I feel like I'm better at the OBJ now than I was last year. I'm um, simply because of the fact that I've accepted it, and instead of trying to learn how to be a better slayer, I've tried to learn how to be a better OBJ player, and I feel like that's uh, helped me a lot as far as you know growing as a player. So pretty much. The game's gonna end somewhere around here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's gonna end in this hill. Um, I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, it is gonna end in this hill. Maybe this quick kill. Again, communication comes into play right there. He tells me that there's a guy in, in 10, and he couldn't get a shot on him, so I turned around and I got the quick kill. So, like I said, that's pretty much gonna close it out. I'm gonna get one more kill before the end of this game. I'm gonna end 23 and 33. Again, not a great slaying game for me. Um, but I did do my job. I got over well over three minutes in hill. Um, it's gonna freeze because this is a theater mode match. Um, so like I said, learn your role, do your job. Our right, two slayers, one of our slayers dropped 46 kills, which is great. Other slayer dropped 36 kills, which is great. Our OBJ, which is myself again, dropped well over three minutes in hill with 23 kills. So I'm still not doing too uh, poor in the slaying department. Um, and our OBJ, uh, not our OBJ, my apologies, our anchor was holding spawns as best as he could. He, did, uh, he didn't do a bad job at it, and he still dropped 24 kills. Again, still helping in the slaying department as well. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure you leave a like if it did um, help you at all as far as, you know, how how to play in GBs or UMGs or anything like that. Um, please make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend about me, about your boy Zacer. Um, and make sure, you know, you hit the subscribe button to join the squad. It would be greatly appreciated. And, um, yeah, that's really it, boys. This has been your boy Zacer. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!